Hey, yo, your main guy CBK. Whoa, watchers of the planet. What's going on, man? Finally, we got there. <laughs> finally, finally, they're actually allowing us to make some planets. To stack up on the old planets. You know the old planets. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Planet Watch, man. Yeah? Now, there was an AMA that came out yesterday. Sneakily, I'll be honest with you, like, you know, the information is not always, um, it seems like they come out on a Wednesday, then they come out on a Thursday, then they come out on a, you know, whatever, right? But the information is here. And if you go in and check your planets or your algo wallet and see, you will see, hopefully, you will see that you've actually earned some planets. And I'm sure that's a good thing. So listen, with no further ado, let me know what you think about this AMA. Now, I, I'll be, um, you know what? Just before I close out, I actually thought it would have been backdated. But what he done is he actually said he's going to now give you an extension on your actual license, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful, man. As long as the road moving forward is not as rocky as it was getting up to this point, then I can, I can buy that. I can rock that. And I can promote that, right? So let's just fingers crossed that things go smoothly moving forward because we didn't buy these sensors because we want to see, you know, how toxic our farts are. <laughs> we, we're out here to earn planets. I've never really been one of these people that jump on a bandwagon about, you know, um, the condition of the earth. You know, my, my, my belief system's a little bit bigger than that. Do you know what I mean? I believe the earth can take care of itself. We're the ones that need to, you know, kind of get in line with Mother Earth. All right? Anyway, enough from me. Just before I go, check the links in the description. Some of you guys, I've been getting comments on my video saying that you can't join the Discord group. And I'm, you know, people private messaging me as well. What I will say is this, the security is really high. There are some undesirables that I do not want in my actual Discord group, right? And I'm going to just quickly show you what my Discord group is because some of the people that's in the general will not see some of the more, let's say, um, the investments and the investment side of stuff, yeah? So things that we see that comes across our table that gets post posted in the investment side right and natural fact i'm going to create another tier underneath that for serious investors but how it works is if you're not if you're just in the general then you're in the general right to get yourself into an investment you've got to be active in the general and then from the act from the actual active people that's in the investment group you I am going to create another tier, right? It hasn't been done yet, but I will be. So I'm just, it's, it's an announcement, right? Once that's there, then there's going to be a free number three tier system, right? So you start in a general and you work and prove yourself to get to the investment. And how you do that is by talking interacting sharing answering questions bringing opportunities that you think is worthy yeah once we've you're active then your score goes up and once your score goes up then you go into an investment yeah and the investment is is a place where people can see all right this guy's a, a serious investor now the the other tier that's <laughs> you gotta wait to see that yeah I, i'll be honest with you man that there may be a charge for that okay that's all i'm gonna say maybe i'm not saying they will but maybe 
because I'm talking to a lot of people and a lot of people want me to code things for them and create contracts and I'm in actual fact I haven't yet started to create videos but trust me they're coming yeah so anyway that's it from me check the AMA we're moving forward planets all the way let's go so this is the tear so you've got general right you've got investments right now so I'll just show you quickly some of the stuff that we're talking about in the investments all right now I'm gonna create another tier underneath investments yeah that is simply gonna be for real 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 serious investors that want to get from zero to hero all right so with all this said there's gonna be another tier so that is it guys yeah there's gonna be various different tiers right some of them may be an actual paid service I'm still contemplating that let me know whether let me know if I need to start a paid service or keep it completely free that's all I want to ask you I'm out check the AMA coming up right now hey planet watchers how's everybody doing I'm okay very very busy it's a very busy week as usual uh, at, mom at the moment I'm in Barcelona and we are participating as you might have seen from our Twitter in a major smart city event now we're meeting lots of interesting people and companies and I must say I was particularly happy to meet in person several planet watchers so it's great to talk to people who really believe in what we're doing and I guess they were also relieved to check that I'm a real person not a multiverse avatar so I I'm real so let's get into the hot issues now because there are several right so to begin with I'm glad to announce that we have hopefully sorted out all the major issues which were affecting rewards for our element sensors so let's write it as a consequence of this work as of tomorrow Rewards for aware element sensor are expected to be fully in line with expectations, which means the following. If your aware element is properly installed, properly connected, it has Wi-Fi, internet access, uh, you don't unplug it from the mains and nothing strange happens, it should uh, be able to issue all the data streams that we need and then receive max daily rewards, uh, according to the white paper. Okay, of course, Issues with individual devices can always occur for any reason. And that applies incidentally to all devices in the network. That's why we have a ticketing system. So we sorted out the, the issue that was affecting a large number of devices. So by and large, all devices should be okay. However, things can happen. So if, if you feel there is a specific issue with your device, you would normally open a ticket. However, please do not open ticket for aware element until after tomorrow afternoon's distribution. And only open a ticket after that if you believe there is a real problem with your device. Okay, things should be okay. Let's wait until the next reward engine exercise runs tomorrow afternoon and then see how it goes. I expect it to go smoothly. All right. Now, in connection with this, as we previously announced, uh, we have declared, declared that the month of November 2021 is an extended testing period for the newly onboarded devices from Kaitera and from Aware. Now, generally speaking, during the testing period, things are expected not to be seamless, and they weren't, as you know. So that's not exactly a surprise. Nonetheless, we have decided that all owners of active Kaitera and Aware sensors, which is those which at the moment have an active licenses for these devices, will be granted a free one month license extension. This means, for example, that if you have a one year license expiring on November 10, 2022, you will be able to stream data to Planet Watch from your sensor and earn rewards until. December 10, 2022, at no additional cost. Okay, so if, if 
you want to think in terms of compensation, you, you get a time compensation from Planet Watch. Incidentally, let me just stress again that this, this is the only type of compensation that makes sense in our world. Some people, sure enough, were asking for compensation in terms of free tokens. Please understand that this is not going to happen because it would not be consistent with what Planet Watch is. We are not an investment scheme. You pay us money in order to be able to participate in our project, which means deploying sensor, collect useful data. So think about it. The impact of technical difficulties in November was that you were not able to fully contribute to Planet Watch. So we compensate for the time where you, when you were not able to contribute by granting you one extra month of time to be able to contribute at no additional cost. This is the type of compensation that makes sense in our ecosystem. Okay. Now, there is a nice update for people who are waiting to buy their Arquino. So the, the purchase emails, the first purchase emails will go out today, later today, obviously based on our waiting list. So again, please remember that the flow of these emails will follow stock availability. So people who belong to the same batch may not get the email on the same day, because if you are a higher up in, on the waiting list, we, say, we receive, for example, 50 devices. You are number 33 on the waiting list, you do get an email, say, today. If you are number 84, you don't get it today, you get it when we get an additional lot of 50. Okay, everything proceeds according to the waiting list. And as soon as we get many devices, them up for sale. Okay? That's the general part. Now we can move into the Q&A part, the traditional Q&A part. I got a few questions. Okay, most of the questions were about rewards and aware element. And uh, I did answer already. Yeah, technical or scientific questions. And the first question I got was, if I could explain how exactly readings from aware element can be used. Uh, the question is, who cares about the air inside the house because it depends on lifestyles and become, it depends on what I do, if I open the window or not. Does it make any sense? Well, yes. The thing is, we know for sure that there is a, that this data are relevant because we are talking to a number of research institutes. And there is a lot of data of interest for data on indoor air quality in households. Why? Well, this data is important for our public health studies, of course, we need first large data sets in order to extract use useful information. But some specific points of interest are, for example, outdoor-indoor comparisons. So you live in, a, for example, in a highly polluted area. It is quite interesting to analyze to what extent outdoor pollution can enter your place. That is one thing. The other thing is what I would call indoor data segmentation. So. For, for this, we might at some point seek your consent to provide us with a little bit more info. For example, whether or not there is a smoker in the family or perhaps a pregnant woman. Why would, would us ask you these questions? Because subject to your consent and subject to using the data anonymously, so not saying Mrs. X is pregnant in that house, but saying we have a sample of 20 pregnant women, maybe in Paris, so anonymized data. Why this is interesting? Because it would enable the analysis of the impact, for example, of smoking habits on householder quality and whether what percentage of uh, pregnant women are typically exposed, for example, to, to poor air quality. So there are a number of interesting issues that can be analyzed by experts. If we have a large body of indoor air quality data from households, and if we can attach to the air quality data some additional information about uh, uh, people habits and again once again for the third time in a fully anonymized way and only if you choose to share a bit of info okay that is the answer to the question uh, then i see people saying thank you to two of our staff members sarah and renzo 
as they dealt with concerns in a very professional way. And whenever people take the time to say thank you to a specific staff, staff name, I, I'm very glad to, to share this because all, all the team is very, very professional. Everybody's working long hours. So it's great to hear that you, that you perceive and appreciate our commitment. Next question. Uh, climate change is a big issue right now. Yeah, who could deny that? So question is, any foreseeable partnership with the US government or with other countries? Well, as it often happens, uh, it's too early to disclose anything in that respect, but watch this space because when I say that we have lots of high level discussions, I mean it. But of course, the higher the level, the more time it takes to, to close a deal or to launch a project. So it cannot be fast, but we, we are having a number of high level interests in discussions. Now, very different question. Each stream costs one thousandth of an algo. Yes, every time you write something on the Algorand blockchain, there is a small, very small fee that needs to be paid. The question is who is paying who is paying this fee in the in the Planet Watch project, and what happens if the algo price shoots through the roof? I believe I've answered this already a number of times, but yeah, let's do it again. So. As far as Planet Watch transactions are concerned, we pay our, out of our company funds. This is one of the costs which are folded into the license fees. So we pay, we hedge the risk. Of course, we are very aware that the algo price could, could raise and we have a number of financial measures in place to, to hedge, to mitigate that risk. It, there's no point in getting into details. Actually, in connection with uh, transactions and writing data on the blockchain, let me also mention for the sake of a transparency that as of today, we will be writing data on the blockchain every hour instead of every 15 minutes. I won't give you a, a detailed technical explanation, but believe me, this is simply a more efficient and more obvious, obviously cost-effective way to manage our resources while keeping all the, all the goals in place. So let me pin this again. And uh, next question, let's see. Okay, recurrent question, but that's fair enough. When will I, will I be able to check order number and see an estimated day to, to pay for my sensor? Now, this is on the tech roadmap. Uh, I would say honest answer is hopefully by the end of the year or in January at the latest, because that this is one of the high priority items. Okay, now, um, last question. Please do something about scalpers. So what this person means by that is people who one way or another, they manage to, to procure Planet Watch compliance sensors, and then they try to resell them at twice or three times the, the, the normal price. And that's of course a very bad thing because it's just exploiting uh, the interest uh, for Planet Watch, so obviously we are we don't like this at all. So this person says, please try to do something about it. And in fact, what he suggests is uh, actually some of the measures that are already in place. For for example, this is one of the reasons why we put in place KYC. We want to know who who we are dealing with, and also as you know, KFC, KFC is also linked to some uh, restrictions about the number of licenses you can buy. So if you want to buy lots of licenses, you have to explain why. And that is a way to mitigate to mitigate this uh, these unfortunate behavior of uh, reselling Planet Watch compliant hardware at crazy prices. So let me make a further comment on this. Please bear in mind and refer to what I said in previous occasions. If you take a FOMO, fear of missing out attitude to Planet Watch, and then you want to get in fast because you think you'll make more money and blah, blah, blah. And then you buy hardware at a crazy price from a random person, a random company. You are taking lots of risks. Because if nothing else, if your hardware turns out to be faulty, then my friend is your problem. So my advice really 
is to focus on the fact that Planet Watch is not a get-rich-quick scheme. If that's what you're looking for, you are in the wrong place. It's as simple as that. On the other hand, I do believe that we'll deliver huge value, but real value based on real data over time. So I, my advice to all watchers, uh, Emma watchers and Planet watchers, obviously, is to be patient because big things cannot be built overnight. And if you benchmark Planet Watch to comparable startups, whatever they are, I think it would be hard to say that we are slow. I think we are, we are being really fast. That's my feeling at least. And some observers feeling as well. So again, my advice is to be patient. And I suggest that you buy hardware only either from Planet Watch or from the manufacturers of the approved hardware. It's your call, you decide, but you should uh, evaluate all risks carefully before you spend your money with us or with anybody else, obviously. Okay, so that was the last question. Uh, so I should very soon rush back into the Barcelona event. However, 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 there is one more thing I want to say. I, I did say last time that there is a major announcement coming soon, and this is really coming soon. The thing is, we don't control the, the release of this announcement because a, a press release is being prepared and it's not Planet Watch which is preparing it. I believe it's quite likely that the PR will go out by the end of the week. But again, we are not clicking the button. Uh, but once again, once again, be a, just a little bit patient and I'm, I'm sure you won't be disappointed by this press release. They will give you feeling for what we are achieving and uh, yeah that's all I can say for now I, I really hope it comes out uh, within a couple of days I'm not 100% sure but I'm quite hopeful so I'm running back into the event lots of people to meet and lots of um, lots of opportunities actually so I better work on that so you guys please take care of yourself of your environment and keep watching Planet. Thank you, bye bye.